This is news you can use. The Winter Hill School has closed for the year after a piece of concrete fell in the building. During the week of May 29th, 2023, outside of operating hours and while the school was unoccupied, a piece of concrete fell onto a stairwell inside of the school. Immediately after this was found by staff, the stairwell was closed to both students and the staff and a structural engineer was brought into the building to conduct an immediate review. Students have been relocated to a number of sites throughout the city, including Tufts University, and a waiver has been granted from the state to have the school end on time, despite the day's school was closed, so arrangements could be made to keep students safe. Somerville High School students sheltered in place Tuesday afternoon as the Central Library was closed briefly as police searched for two youths they believed to be armed. Police say a gun from that incident is missing and warns residents who may stumble across it. Citizens should not touch a suspected firearm. If a suspected firearm is found, call 911 right away and wait for officers to arrive. At City Hall, city councilors are debating the $337.4 million budget proposed by Mayor Katiana Ballantyne. Every single department gets reviewed, including economic development, redevelopment authority, public space, and urban forestry, law and damages to persons and property. The budget needs to be final before July 1st, the start of the new physical year. As reported by the Somerville Wire, the city will produce a cultural capacity plan by the end of 2023, which includes the groundwork for an arts, space, stabilization fund, and arts-focused zoning to cultivate and protect Somerville's arts. The SAC's new arts development manager, Michael Rosenberg, is implementing the report's recommendations, starting with zoning to set aside 5 to 10 percent of up-and-coming commercial floor space for arts and creative enterprise use. That process begins with refining arts and creative enterprise zoning definitions to accommodate local needs, but challenges remain beyond securing spaces. It is an election year in Somerville and Wednesday was the last day to be able to submit nomination papers. So far, The Wire is reporting that Ward 5 City Councilor Beatrice gomez Moakad is not running for re-election, citing a family health emergency. Jack Petrennik filed papers once she withdrew from the race. The City of Somerville will certify nomination papers by June 28th, at which point certified candidates will be welcomed to the Somerville Media Center to create candidate statements. Black Swallow Wart is a huge problem in our city. It's found on chain-link fences, gardens, and threatens monarch butterflies and songbirds. Find it? Dig up the whole plant and put it in the trash. Do not compost it or send it through the city in yard waste bags. June is Pride Month, and the Somerville Public Libraries will give you a free custom pride flag and or a pronoun pin. Just walk in and ask a librarian at the front desk. There are rapid COVID tests and KN95 masks available at all libraries, City Hall, and the City Hall Annex. You can get a free lockbox if you're a senior. Lockboxes provide police, fire, and emergency medical services, EMS, access to your residence in the event of an emergency. Call 617-625-6600. Extension 2321. This is news you can use.